Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic vehicle controller with stability control and adding audio to the engine. First thing first, let's add the model to vehicle. You can use your own model or mesh instance 3D. Make sure the vehicle mesh are separated between the body and wheels. Each wheel need to be independent from each other. Change the parent scene into a vehicle body 3D node. And then add the collision shape for the vehicle body 3D. Use box shape for the collision shape. Make sure the collision shape match with vehicle body. It's not really that important for the collision shape to follow the vehicle body, but it'll make it behave more realistically when colliding with the object. After that, create a vehicle wheel 3D for each wheel. Make sure to align the vehicle wheel 3D node to match with each wheel. No need for pinpoint accuracy. A little bit off is acceptable. Set the vehicle wheel 3D radius the same as wheel. Finally, do the same process to all the remaining wheel. Make sure each wheel mesh is a child of vehicle wheel node. This will allow the wheel mesh to actually follow the vehicle node during steering and moving. And with that, we almost done with the vehicle model. Now let's add a camera. I'm not going to create a camera system for this tutorial. You can use your own camera system or get it from my free third person controller. Check it out at my Patreon page. The next step is to create a vehicle script. The first thing we need to do is setting up the suspension for the vehicle. It is better to set up the suspension with code since it will give us more flexibility to tune the suspension later. Just copy this code to add reference for vehicle wheel and suspension setting. Don't forget to add the vehicle wheel 3D node reference in editor. Let's see how it turned out. Don't worry, this happened because suspension are set to zero before. Just set back the suspension stiffness to desired value. 50 to 100 seem to work nicely for our vehicle setting. The next step is adding steering control. Add the speed and steering reference and vehicle control function in vehicle script. Make sure to run it in physics process. Then enable both front wheel to use as steering wheel. Let's see the result. Okay, the steering work. But right now the vehicle is still cannot move since we still not setting up the function for it. Let's add engine velocity function and run it on physics process. To make the vehicle actually move, we need to make sure the vehicle wheel 3D are set to use as traction. Depending on the vehicle setup, we can set only the front wheel as traction or make it all wheel drive by selecting all wheel. Now the vehicle should move based on player input. If you ever dealing with vehicle body 3D, you know how easy it is for the vehicle to flip over. It seemed the vehicle body 3D is behaving like a ball. Let's fix this problem by creating an anti-roll system to mitigate this issue. Add the reference for stability control parameter, then create an anti-roll function. Use physics process for this function. Let's look into how anti-roll system work. Anti-roll code is used to create a counter push in Z axis to prevent vehicle from swaying side to side, while downforce, as the name suggests, is pushing the vehicle downward, depending on vehicle speed. Something similar as used in Formula 1. Roll influence, on the other hand, determine how slippery the wheel contact with ground. The higher the number, the less vehicle prone to roll. 
Another crucial setting are linear and angular damp. We'll only focus on angular damp for now. Set it to 10. This parameter will dampen vehicle rotation, which in turn help with stabilizing the vehicle. Now the vehicle will become harder to tip over and turn more smoothly. To add handbrake to our vehicle, just copy this handbrake function and run it on physics process. Right now, the vehicle still doesn't have any audio. Add an audio player 3D node into the scene. Make sure the audio are set to loop, otherwise it won't play nicely. Add the audio file into the audio player node. The secret recipe for the engine audio is the pitch scale value. Just play around until you got the right tune. Idle engine should have lower value than when the vehicle accelerates. We can adjust this value through script. Just add the audio node reference and create an engine rev function. As usual, run this function using physics process. Don't forget to add audio player node in editor. Now the tutorial should be complete. Let's see the result. The more advanced vehicle controller already available at my Patreon page, please check it out. It has a more robust anti-roll with dynamic suspension system, enhanced audio that include acceleration and speed boost, wheel skid mark for drifting, vehicle camera system, collision system, and so much more. I'm testing a new video format with an added voiceover for this tutorial, and I'd like to hear what you think. Please let me know if I should keep this style or go back to the original format. Thank you and see you in the next video.